welcome back to another 24 hour with twins this is a six month video if you have not already my first video was was when they were three months and as you can tell the intro within itself is a little different because if you watch that video they were crying right in the beginning so let me just do a quick little update before we get started even though they're twins they're different okay they are very much different let me zoom in a little bit so if you're new here this is khalil this is khalil and this is the boy and this is kaylani and this is the girl now, what you making all that noise for huh huh so um i thought with having twins that you know they will be on the same schedule as far as like their milestones <laughs> i was completely wrong um as you watch this video you'll tell you'll be able to tell a little bit that kaylani is a little bit more further along in her advancement than khalil um khalil <laughs> he is very he's needy i'll say that my baby is needy um he does more crying than her he knows how to hold his bottle but he chooses not to he doesn't like to eat baby food and when i put him on the ground he really doesn't do any too much like not too much movement right now he moves but it's not like i don't know he just you'll be able to tell the difference kaylani she doesn't do any really much crying at all unless it's like she used the bathroom she's hungry or she's sleepy other than that she's good she doesn't cry to be like picked up or anything like that she is very active um she has two teeth that are i don't you you all see it as i don't know if you can see it but she has two teeth khalil is still teething at the moment she knows how to hold her bottle <laughs> very well She's been holding her bottle since she was four months old. So. so she knows how to hold her bottle. And yeah. So they're just, they're twins, but they're different. They have their own, their own milestones. Khalil, he laughs. Like when, when you make him laugh, he laughs louder and has more of a, he smiles a lot. Kaylani, you, you'll be trying to make her laugh and she'll just look at you. Okay? So this is the little update with the babies oh also khalil is bigger he is he weighs more and he is longer than kaylani he is um i can't tell you exactly how much how the lengths his dad be knowing that but he was longer than her and he weighed like 20 something pounds she weighs 17 and something so he's bigger he's very much bigger and also khalil it's in the 90th percentile so that means that he is bigger he, he weighs more and he's taller than 90 percent of little boys his age so my baby definitely sprouted up there since the beginning when he was small he was smaller than her in the beginning very much smaller so stop it and you'll also notice that also well if i put it in here because you know people be talking crazy but she be trying to uh like pull his hair and she is very much like i'm not gonna call my baby a bully but she just she like to pull her his hair and all this other stuff so yeah all right so uh, we about to get ready to go to the gym you guys and i didn't put anything in their hair because they're gonna get a bath tonight so i don't want to put anything in their hair i already have their outfits right here so we're gonna go ahead and get ready now i'm gonna zoom let it go I'm gonna zoom y'all out just a little bit so you can see better. All right, you guys. So if you watch my other video, then you know that I pretty much alternate between live audio and then record it like a voiceover. So right now I'm just getting them ready. And usually, you know, I just do one at a time. Of course, that's all you can do. Now that they're a little bit older and moving around more, as you can see, it kind of, you know, gets the... Uh, you know a little challenging because they want to move play with each other roll around everything like that but i'm just putting on the sh well i changed the diaper i'm putting on their onesies their shorts and getting ready getting them ready to go
so I'm gonna go ahead and fix their bottles and I usually anytime I go anywhere I make sure that they're fed before I leave so that way depending on how long I'm gonna be gone determines how many bottles that I make and now with their diaper bag I just put pamper wipes bottles extra pacifiers keep it real simple okay and I do have a change of mat also but it was in the car as you can see she turned around flipped over that just that quick <laughs> so they are very active very very active I'm gonna go ahead and give her a bottle because even though it she already she ate at what time? Going to a different gym, which this gym, the lady is like really cool. She really like does more than she have to. But when I take them to like my regular gym, they don't be doing none of that. So we are on the way to the gym. I'm eating a banana because usually I try to do faster cardio, but I'm hungry. Um after that, I'm coming right back. I ain't got nothing else I need to do today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all enjoyed the last one. So I hope y'all enjoyed this one. And I am going to do, I'm going to do, I did three. I'm doing six. Then I'm going to do nine. Then I'm going to do a year old. And then I'm going to do a toddler. So just so y'all can see, you know, how it is having twins. Even though this is only, it's, it's not even really a full 24 hours. Because, you know, I cut stuff out speed stuff up but i just want to give you all a glimpse of a day in my life every day is not the same some days are easier than others yesterday was like one of those days where um it wasn't mm, it, it wasn't the worst of the days but yesterday would have been a good day for me to film but i probably would have been so irritated that i didn't want to film because yesterday i had a lot of errands that i had to run i went to the gym i went to different stores i think i went to like ross tj maxx old navy then i took them into target then when we was in target kaylani used the bathroom the number two so i so my son actually was peeking in her pamper to see if she actually used the bathroom and it just starts oozing out y'all in target so i had to change her I had to change her when we left Target. I changed her in the car. Then I had to go to a drive-by baby shower. Then we went home. Then by the time we went home, it was like five something. And their bedtime is eight something. So I was like, mm, I really don't want them to go to sleep. But then I got to deal with them for three hours. I thought I already been dealing with them all day. So yeah. So then when it was time for them to go to sleep they fell asleep but the moment that i tried to leave the room and go downstairs for some me time they both was crying so they ended up both coming downstairs with me so then once i was ready to go to sleep i went back upstairs and they fell asleep and now here we are again so uh, who knows what today is gonna bring y'all because you never know you never know okay so we made it to the gym i'm hoping that i can find a close park that way I won't have to yes I think I got one that way I won't have to carry their car seat inside I mean car, um, carry the stroller inside because yep, I got one right in front of the door great that way I won't have to carry their stroller because the daycare is literally like right when you walk in the door so The other gym, my main gym that I go to, they only keep them for an hour. However, it was supposed to be six months and up, but now with the pandemic, they changed it to eight months and up for some reason. I don't know why. So this gym is closer to my house, actually. It's just, you know, out of my comfort zone, but I actually like it. Um, so I might start going here more when I have the twins. That way I have a bit more of a workout because yesterday I had a great workout. I didn't feel rushed. I was on the Stairmaster for an hour. Usually I only can do like 30 minutes. And you know, it's just, I don't like feeling rushed because it made me feel like I can't do much. So I'm about to take my pre-workout and then get them out of the car. They actually both fell asleep. All right, y'all, so I just dropped the twins off and I'm kind of skeptical with the person that was watching them this time because she tried to sit Camille up, which, you know, that might just be an innocent mistake. 
But I told her that he can't sit up like he can't sit up. My baby would have been fell over. And then she put him in the, in the little uh, chair, but didn't strap him in. So I was like, well, does that strap in? Cause he's gonna flip over in it. So I'm gonna just try not to worry. So I made it back home from the gym, had a great workout, and now I'm going to go ahead and fix myself some breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and put Khalil in the little rocker and Kehlani in the bouncer. And now that they're a little bit older, they definitely can entertain themselves without me having to constantly tend to them. So if I just put them down and turn on Coco Melon, as long as, you know, their fed change, they'll sit there. So I'm just going to put on Coco Melon while I fix myself something to eat because even though it's time for them to eat also, I have to feed myself first so that I can have the energy and the patience. And plus, there is not like they're um, crying for a bottle right at the moment. So I just instead of feeding them first because I know it's time consuming, I just go ahead and fix my breakfast and I just sit down and eat and let them do their own thing. So now it's time to feed them and I chose to feed Kehlani first because Kehlani loves to get fed. She loves baby food, any type of food, really. She loves it. Khalil, on the other hand, we are still working with my baby, okay? He just need a little bit more time. Keep pushing the thing. Ow, ah. Okay, so this is the... Can you see it? This is what I'm feeding her, banana and blueberry. This is gonna be her first time having this flavor. So let's see how it goes. You excited? You excited, boo-boo? Yes. I actually, Elijah, can you go get them um paper towels, please? Matter of fact, no, mom. I got the whites right here. Oh, huh, boo-boo? I got it. I don't need it. You ugly. I should have put a bib on you, mama. Come on. Hey, Lonnie. <laughs> what? I'm not moving fast. 
Cosmo. Mm. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe her off and then prepare Khalil to eat. I know that she's done eating when she starts putting everything else in her mouth other than the food, like the straps on the chair and everything like that. Khalil is so uninterested in food. All he wants is the bottle. That's it. <laughs> So even though Khalil really does not like to eat baby food right now, you can see me trying to make him laugh so I can get the food in his mouth because he will not open his mouth for it. I don't know what it is. He just does not want it. But, you know, I still try every day to give him baby food just so he can get used to it. So he can get, a, you know, accustomed to eating the baby food. I even try to give him food where he can pick up and feed himself he's still not interested so i don't know him and his sister is very different when it comes to that she took to the baby food right away khalil my baby just ain't there yet but he'll get there All right, so you see me lay out on the bed for a little bit because y'all carrying them up and down the stairs now at the same time is getting really challenging. They are heavy and actually I went to the doctor today for Khalil. He was 21 pounds. So in Kaylani, she's probably about like 18 now. So yeah, that together is the lot. Oh, as you can see, my baby almost fell off the bed. <laughs> They move around so much, y'all. Like, please don't leave no negative comment about that. They just move around so much. Like, literally, as soon as I turn my back, they're rolling over. But I caught them just in time. So now I'm going to go ahead and change both of their diapers again since they haven't been changed since I changed them this morning. And I'm going to go ahead and give Khalil a bottle and try to feed him since he didn't really eat much baby food. I want to go ahead and make sure he's well fed and right now he's not taking it he's playing with everything else his feet but he tends to do that a lot like he will not take the bottle when I'm trying to give it to him and then like two minutes later I try to give it to him again and he'll take it so he act like he didn't want to take it so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to give it to Kaylani and change her diaper first now, when it comes to Kaylani getting the bottle, y'all, she be excited. I mean, she be, you know, moving her little torso up and down, up and down, up and down, as you can see. <laughs> I'll be like, girl, you is really excited. Like, you did not just eat. She greedy, y'all, for real. But I put him in the crib so that he wouldn't be moving all over the place while she's eating. 
So now I'm going to try to feed, feed Khalil again. Because he's just difficult. I wonder who he get that from. <laughs> So right now I got him laying flat trying to just see if he will actually take the bottle. So once he actually start taking it, then I lifted him up and I'm just kissing on my little baby that I love so much. And now I'm going to go ahead and lay them down for a nap now. Khalil will absolutely not sleep in the crib. He cries and cries and cries and cries and cries. Kehlani will lay there and fall asleep on her own. He only falls asleep in my bed. That's it. He does not want to fall asleep in the crib. So what I do is I let him fall asleep in my bed and then I put him in the crib once he's actually asleep. But I border him with pillows so that he won't fall off the bed. And I'm going to go ahead and take a shower since I just got from the gym and I haven't been able to take a shower as of yet. I had to get them squared away. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And while I'm in the shower, I'm just going to let them lay there and hopefully they're asleep. So once I got out the shower, y'all, they were asleep, y'all. They were asleep. So now that Khalil is asleep, I'm going to go ahead and put him in the crib with his sister. Now, you guys, I know before someone said that you didn't need two separate cribs for twins. But personally, I feel like I do because they just pull on each other too much. And the white noise that you hear, I actually play the white noise so that I can help them sleep. And you also saw me looking, setting up the camera so that I can look at them while I'm downstairs. And now I'm downstairs about to get some me time. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and read my book. I actually finished that book. It's called You're a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. And I recommend it, you guys. 10 out of 10. Fix the bottle, okay? Yeah. Come on, let's get on the floor while mommy fix the bottle. Alexa, cut the sound off. 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and make another bottle for them. Now, you guys, it is not every day that they sleep that long. This particular day, they slept for a long time. And I am not one of them moms that, you know, only allow them to sleep for a certain amount of time. I let them sleep as long as they want to sleep. Because personally, I still don't have no problems with them falling asleep at nighttime around their bedtime. And plus, that gives me a break and lets me be able to do what I need to do, especially when having twins, because it's rare that I can have time away from both of them because they're both sleep at the same time for the same amount of time because usually one is up one sleep one sleep one is up one wake up before the other you get the idea <laughs> So I'm gonna just let them sit here and I'm about to turn on Coco Melon. They're looking at who you like, who is you talking to? I'm gonna let them sit here and just roll around on the floor and put some toys down for them. And then whenever they're hungry, they can drink their bottle. And then the next time that they should eat is like nine o'clock. Say hi, Dad. Say, what am I? I'm not a baby. Say, I'm a baby. No, that's not. I'm a baby. That's a problem. <laughs> Say, I'm a baby. Say, hi, Dada. Oh, okay, Lonnie, jealous. Say, hi, Dada. Say, hi, Bubba. <laughs> oh, you happy? Oh, <laughs> you happy? Come on. Come on. Oh. She, you come and get your dad? Okay. Ah. Huh. Hi, boo boo. My baby, get in it. You get in it, mama? Come on. Come on. Your daddy missing it. Oh my goodness, Bubba. <laughs> it's like she be doing the crawl up until she get close to it. Once she get close to the phone, then she like scoot to it. Wow, Bubba. Good job, Mama. Good job. Good job. The twins are getting a little cranky. I think they're tired of tummy time now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and give them a bath. So you guys, it's bath time. And I did not include too much during bath time because I'm actually going to do a um, bath time slash nighttime routine for twins which will be able to go in detail on my process and everything like that. Because in the beginning, when I first had them and they had their first couple of baths, I literally like had a breakdown. <laughs> I cried <laughs> because I was like, oh my goodness, I can't do this. But now I have a method to the madness. So I'm going to do a video on that. So I didn't include too much during this clip and plus this will literally take up like 30 minutes if i showed y'all everything so
So you guys, getting them together after bad time, bath time, oh my goodness, it is such a task. Like, especially when you have two babies that are flipping over constantly at the same time. They want to pull on each other, pull on everything, play with this, pull on that. It is just a lot. Oh, y'all, I swear it is a work out within itself okay it's 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 a lot i ain't gonna hold you it's a lot <laughs> after all of that i'm hot you see the look you see this fall that mean i'm hot it's hot okay i'll be back So typically the twins wake up around between 1 and 3 a.m. Just depends on what time they go to sleep the night prior. Like I said, their bedtime is around 8 something. However, they don't always go to bed around that time. So if they go to bed later, then they wake up later in the middle of, middle of the night. As you can see, Khalil is in my bed because he just started crying. And that's what made me get him out the crib and feed him. And I'm trying to get him to hold his bottle, but he won't. Kehlani is over there holding her bottle, eyes still closed. They both actually have their eyes closed, which one thing I will say that I learned is that instead of waiting for them to like, if you start hearing them get fussy, don't keep waiting for them to um like cry, cry to get up. Go ahead and feed them. That way they're still kind of sleep and then they'll, you know, go back to sleep easier. But I do not turn any lights on. The only light, well, the main light in the room, I don't turn on. The light that you just saw turned off was actually my bathroom light. And it works off of a sensor. So after a certain amount of time, it goes off by itself. So Kehlani, she burped her, she ended up burping on her own. And she just turned over and went right back to sleep. Khalil was still a little sleep. So I just burped him and put him back in the crib gave them both their pacifier and yeah good morning so as you can see they are both in my bed <laughs> pulling well i ain't gonna say pulling but smacking each other touching each other rolling all over the place so in the morning time i just go ahead and change their pamper because usually if I don't change their pamper in the middle of the night, Khalil will have a wet spot on him from him using the bathroom so much in the middle of the night. I actually read somewhere to only change their diaper if they like did the number two. So that way you won't like wake them up in the middle of the night. But I noticed that Khalil, he just pees too much. It's just he always wets his onesie. So this particular day he did not though. So that was a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed them. So I'm just making their morning bottle. Now, you guys, I will say this baby Brezza, which I actually have a video on things that I recommend that you have if you're having twins. This comes in handy. Oh, my goodness. Especially in the middle of the night when you don't feel like getting up and you just want to press make bottle on your phone just so you can get it and give it to the babies. Oh, it works wonders. And you can make four bottles before you have to clean like the funnel out. So it lasts me throughout the night and I don't have to clean the, the funnel out or anything like that. I always put the babies on the floor. I don't really have them on a bed too much anymore because they roll around too much. So we do not allow shoes upstairs. So because I try to keep the floors as clean as possible. And um, I just have them on the floor so that they can, you know, not fall or anything like that. And just roll all over the place, have tummy time, learn how to crawl, different things like that. So as you can see, Khalil... It's trying. My baby trying. He got the baby. He got the bottle upside down, but he trying. That's all that matter. Okay.
all right you guys so that is it for the 24 hours with twins it i ended it a little bit early it's like eight o'clock so i ended it one hour early because i'm about to leave and take their older brother to school they just got finished eating so now they're just about to probably be up for like another hour or so until their morning nap and i'm going to the gym but i'm not taking them with me because as you can see their pappy is here and <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video as you can see it's a little bit different than the first one because the first one i got so many comments of why they cry so oh lord it's dark hold on it i think it's because my hat honestly but i got so many uh comments like why they cry so much and did you try to carry them on your back and all this other stuff so this time as you can see they don't cry as much and they don't you know it's not like how it was in the first video they're just more active now and they have like a little bit of more personality so for their nine month one they definitely should be doing some different things because they already trying to sit up and trying to crawl and things like that so don't forget to subscribe and i will see you all in my next video